Greg and his second-in-command, John, take up positions in UT-1's control room. Copy, okay. Can you start the cursor, please? Launch stage one is to pick up the machine with a giant A-frame crane. Pick it up. And suspend it over the sea. That's UT-1 off deck. I'm just going to start booming out. Greg carefully guides the A-frame via joystick controls. You want to just knock your cursor off for now? Now comes stage two, deploying UT-1 into the water. But this is the riskiest part of the operation. There's a danger the sea's motion could damage the umbilical tube containing the machine's power and communications cables. We have to make sure that we get our launching sequence spot on so that we get a nice smooth transition through the splash zone in all sea states. I'm gonna start lowering you down. The sea's getting choppy, making a clean deployment harder by the minute. Okay, you're on the move. Not just seen if it chatters. Getting ready. I'm gonna reset that umbilical now. Okay, mate, that's constant tension. Waves finally lap over the top of UT-1, and it descends into the deep. OK, that's 10 metres below the surface. Good job, guys. Now en route, it won't be long before UT-1 can start blasting the South Korean seabed. It weighs 60 tons, the same as 50 average-sized family cars. It can descend nearly a mile underwater where the pressure crushes steel. The jet leg water cannons are 35 times more powerful than a fire hose, burying the largest cables in trenches up to 10 feet deep. That's motor one running and got boost pressure. In the UT-1's control room, pilot Kent Warbick flies the machine down to the ocean floor. Thrusting down, 40%. That's UT-1 on the way to the seabed. His mission is to find the electricity cable 150 feet below and blast it into a trench. He deftly maneuvers UT-1 via joysticks controlling the machine's thrusters. All top on the downs, 33 meters. But a nighttime launch makes flying UT-1 twice as difficult. When you are flying a UT-1 to the seabed in the dark, when there is no visibility, it's actually more or less like flying in a helicopter in the dark and try to land it. <laughs> 